What's going ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to the video. Today, I'm doing race 6 for the 2024 Geico 500. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This week in the NASCAR Cup Series heads to the world's fastest super speedway at Talladega Super Speedway, the 2.66 mile super speedway. The last time we ran the spring race here, we saw Kyle Busch win on the last lap and pick up a second win at Talladega in the Cup Series and a second win with uh, RCR in 2023. He'll be looking to pick up his first win of the 2024 season this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Before I go ahead and jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So the weather for this weekend is not looking pretty promising. It's going to be 58 degrees high with 47 degrees low with a 90% chance of rain. So there's a really good chance that possibly this race is going to get postponed from Sunday and probably move to Monday unless the weather improves over the course of the next couple of days. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Usually for the Cup Series, I do two suck picks, two underdog picks, and a winner's pick. But because of the fact that this is Super Speedway weekend, we're going to do three suck picks, two drivers I expect to struggle throughout the weekend, three underdog picks, three drivers who are not that great at this type of track, but I think are going to have a good run. And I do my winner's pick, the driver thinks is going to win the race overall. And for the ones to watch, I've got six drivers you need to watch out for along with the winner. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Who are my suck picks for the Geico 500? My first suck pick for this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway is a driver of the 21 car for the Wood Brothers, Harrison Burton. Harrison Burton has struggled for the most part so far in 2024. He just got only his third finish above 30th this past weekend at Texas Motor Speedway and is still looking for his first top 10 finish by not only having one finish inside the top 25 this season. I expect Harrison Burton to struggle. He's been a little unlucky for sure this season, but I do not expect Harrison Burton to run well. I think he's going to struggle this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. My second suck pick for this weekend at Talladega is a driver of the 19 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Martin Truex Jr. Martin Truex Jr. has not been great on Super Speedways in the Cup Series, which is wild considering the Xfinity Series. He was one of the best Super Speedway racers down there when he drove for DEI. But since joining the Cup Series, like I said, Martin Truex Jr. for the most part has struggled. And I don't expect him to contend for the win this weekend, unfortunately. I think he'll have some decent pace because I know JJR is going to try to bring the pace to go for the win. But I don't expect Martin Truex Jr. to be a threat. I think he will struggle, unfortunately, this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. My third and final suck pick for this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway is the driver of the four car for Stuart Haas Racing, Josh Berry. Josh Berry has not been great at Super Speedways historically. He's had a lot of bad luck so far this year in 2024. And you need a lot of good luck if you're going to run up front, especially at Super Speedways. And unfortunately, I don't think he's going to run up front this weekend. I think he's going to struggle quite a bit. And sadly, I don't expect much from him. I think he will struggle for sure this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway and finish near the back of the pack and probably get caught up in an incident or a wreck this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. And now we're going to ahead and jump on the underdog picks for the Geico 500. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick... For this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway is a driver of the 16 car for Colic Racing, Shane Van Gisbergen. Not only will SVG be sporting some really awesome Wendy's colors this weekend, but I think SVG is kind of an underdog going into the weekend. Why? Well, one, he'll be making his first Cup Super Speedway start. Two, SVG gets better as these races go on. He has finished 11th and 3rd in both their respective Super Speedway races in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, and this 16 car times has him fast on Super Speedway tracks as well. So therefore, I think SVG will be contending by the end of the race, and I think we'll have a good chance and opportunity to potentially finish inside the top 15 or maybe even the top 10 this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. My second underdog pick for this weekend at Talladega is a driver 34 car for former motorsports Michael McDowell. Michael McDowell is one of the more underrated super speed racers in the field. He's led last, I think, in both the super speed races so far this season. And Michael McDowell also has qualified extremely well at these types of racetracks this year. And, of course, he won the pole for Atlanta. So I think Michael McDowell is going to be up front. I think he got a stage win at Atlanta earlier this year, too. So I think Michael McDowell will be a guy to watch out for for sure this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. And my third and final underdog pick for this weekend at Talladega is a driver of the five car for Hendrick Motorsports, Kyle Larson. 
Look, Kyle Larson used to be absolutely horrendous at super speedways. But over the last three or four years, especially since getting into the next-gen car, Kyle Larson has been getting better and better and better at super speedway racing. I think he is going to be a threat for maybe a top 10. I think he will lead some laps. And I do think that this five team is actually going to be pretty good. I think he'll have a good run. And I think Kyle Larson will potentially have a chance to get in for the victory at the end of the night. But he's gotten better at these types of tracks. And he's had an average finish get better as well. And now we're going to ahead and jump on to the winner's pick for the Geico 500. Who is my winner's pick? The driver who I'm picking to win this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway has won at this track before, but it's been nearly two and a half years since he last did it. The driver I'm picking to win is the driver of the 23 car for 2311 Racing, Bubba Walls. I think Bubba Walls is going back to victory for the first time in over a year. He has been getting faster as years progress. He has scored four top tens so far this year and three top fives and is coming off having a solid top ten run at Texas Motor Speedway. On top of that as well, I think he's one of the more underrated super speed racers in the field. And I think he's due to go back to victory lane. He had one of the best cars in the spring race last year as well. I think Bob Walsh is going to be able to go to victory lane. I think 2311 is going to do whatever they can to try to help him go to victory lane. I think he goes to victory lane this weekend and picks up his first win in 2024 in his third career Cup Series win at Talladega Super Speedway. And now we're going ahead and jump onto the drivers you need to watch out for for this weekend at Talladega. Who should you have your eyes out on? The first driver to watch out for for this weekend at Talladega is a driver of the 12th car for Team Penske, Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney has won three times at the straight track, but all of them have come, well, actually one of the times has come in the spring, but the other two times have come in the fall. I think Ryan Blaney is going to be a major threat and contender, and I think he will lead some laps. He did lead the most laps the last time we ran the spring race here. I do think that Ryan Blaney will have some good speed, and I think he'll be a serious threat and serious contender to go to victory lane this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway in that number 12 car. The second driver to watch out for for this weekend at Talladega is a driver of the eight car for Richard Hills Racing, Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch struggled a lot of the year so far, but the one type of track where we know that Kyle Busch has been fast at the last two years has been the Super Speedways. Like I mentioned earlier in the episode, he actually won the last spring race here. I think he's going to be a threat for the victory, and I think the 18 will be up front. He's come close to winning some of these Super Speed races recently, and again, I think he'll be a major threat and serious contender to get it done in that number eight car this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. The third driver to watch out for for this weekend at Talladega is a driver of the 22 car for Team Penske, Joey Logano. Joey Logano has been turning the corner over the course of the last few weekends. Weekends. He's been inside the top 16 in points now after a terrible start to the year. And he's also qualified extremely well at these types of racetracks. Racetrack, and it also has led quite a few laps as well. I think that Joey Logano will have some really good pace and really good speed this weekend. And I think he'll have a good chance and opportunity to stop a very long winless streak that goes to last year at Atlanta Motor Speedway. The fourth driver to watch out for for this weekend at Talladega is a driver of the 11 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin's won this track twice, but he is definitely one of the best super speed racers, not just in the field currently, but in NASCAR Cup Series history. I think that Denny Hamlin and this 11 team are going to be super quick and super fast on the time cheats, and I think that he is going to be very, very good this weekend. So therefore, I think Denny Hamlin will be fast, and I think he'll have a really great chance and a strong opportunity to potentially pick up his third win of 2024 this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. The fifth driver to watch out for for this weekend at Talladega is the driver of the nine car for Hendrick Motorsports, Chase Elliott. It's not just based off of winning at Tex Motor Speedway last weekend. Chase Elliott is a pretty good super speed racer, and he's had three straight top five finishes in a row. And I feel like this nine team is beginning faster and faster on a week-by-week basis. So I think Chase Elliott is going to be a contender for the victory, and I think he'll have a good chance and opportunity to get his third Cup Series win ever at Tex Motor Speedway. And if he gets at Talladega, I should say, I think he will potentially have a chance to pick up his 20th career win in Cup this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. And the sixth and final driver I think you should watch out for for this weekend at Talladega is the driver of the 43 car for Legacy Motor Club, Eric Jones. 
Eric Jones is criminally underrated at Super Speedways. He, of course, got his first career win in Cup at a Super Speedway back in 2018, driving for JGR. And Eric Jones is always up front at these types of racetracks. He came close to winning both races in 2022, and I believe he's up front in both 2023 races as well. So I think that Eric Jones is going to be a threat, and I think he will be a serious contender to go to victory lane this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway in that number 43 car. So those are my race picks for the 2024 Geico 500. Just a reminder, my suck picks are Harrison Burr and Mara Trish and Josh Berry. My underdog picks are Shane Van Gisberg and Michael Madown and Kyle Larson. My winner's pick is Bubba Walls. And the ones to watch out for are Ryan Blaney, Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, Denny Hamlin, Chase Elliott, and Eric Jones. Those are my race picks. So that is going to be for the race picks video for the 2024 Geico 500 at Talladega. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If notifications on soon, if I win a video, it does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as for a patron as well. Link in the description below that and comment your thoughts below and your picks below for this weekend at Talladega. Let me know your suck picks, let me know your underdog picks, let me know your winner's pick, and let me know your drivers you're watching out for for this weekend at Talladega. Let me know your race picks. Later today on the channel, I'll have the Xfinity Series breaks pick for the AG Pro 300. Then tomorrow, I should have a NASCAR news video on Thursday. And then on Friday, we're going to probably have a special video surrounding SHR and the possibility of them downsizing. Or maybe a video on drivers that could join the Cup Series full-time in 2025. Got a ton of great content dropping on the channel that I cannot wait for you guys to check out. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.